Mambo ya Oh mambo ya Finland. <laughs> mambo ya Finland. Sikizeni. Mambo ya Finland najua tuko na matatizo. Kuna wazazi ambao wametoa pesa na pesa yao haijulikani iko wapi. Si ndio? Sasa mambo ya uchunguzi inaendelea. Wale wote kama kuna mtu alikula hiyo pesa. Kama kuna mtu alikula hiyo pesa. Ajipange kulipa mapema ama ataingia mtabani. Si ndio? Hakuna maneno ya kupembelezana. Pesa ya ngombe ya mtu ama aliuza shamba lazima arudishiwe pesa yake. Lakini hapo mbele wakati uchunguzi itamalizika mimi nitaona vile tunaweza kusaidia wale watoto ambao wamehusika na hii matatizo. Si ndio? Nitaona vile tutaweza kuwasaidia hawa watoto kwa sababu ni watoto wetu na ni watoto hawana hatia na ni watoto innocent. Si ndio? So tutawapanga vile tunaweza kuwapatia scholarship ya nyumbani hapa waende wasome ndio tuweze kuendelea na mambo yao. Lakini sio kumaanisha kwamba wale waliipa pesa watahepa. Hawawezi. Hawawezi. Abana, abana, abana. Abana. Sio kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja? Hatuwezi kubali hiyo story mimi siwezi kubali. Kwanza wanatuletea aibu. Ndio? These people are ni watu bure kabisa. Ama namna gani? Wana tuletea <laughs> aibu. You know? So, lakini mambo iko na polisi mimi sitaki kusema sana. Hakuna tofauti kati ya ugatuzi na bottom up. Si bottom ni huko chini. Alafu tunakuja up. Na ugatuzi ni hapo hapo. So tumekuja hapa kupanga hiyo maneno. Na mimi nataka niwaeleze kama serikali ambayo tunaunga mkono mambo ya ukatusi. Mwaka huu for the first time tumehakikisha kwamba pesa yote ya devolution ambayo ilikuwa imewekwa katika budget mwaka uliopita kabla ya sisi kuvuka mwaka tulilipa pesa yote ya devolved units na ule governor chairman wa council of governors anaweza confirm Hakuna deni tuko naye ya county governments. Tulilipa the last three months karibu bilioni moja na thelathini kwa counties. Ili counties zetu waweze kutimiza majukumu yao na wapange na wa, eh, wakikishe ya kwamba miradi na mipango ya maendeleo mashinani inasonga mbele. Mwezi uliopita, for the first time in ten years, pia tulilipa pesa ya mwezi wa Julai wakati wa mwezi ya Julai hatujachelewa hata siku moja kwa sababu tena tunaunga mkono ukatuzi na tunataka devolved units wafanye kazi kwa wananchi tu... sasa sisi tuliamua kiongozi ni nani ni nani kwa hivyo ile porojo ingine imekwisha si namna hiyo ati huyo mzee wa kitandawili bado anasema ati kuna watu wametoroka wameenda ngambo ati wanatoroka wanahofia maisha yao jameni porojo kama hii there's this constant lie that some people who wanted to mess up the election have run away because their lives in, are in threat it is false it is falsehood it is a white lie hakuna mtu ambaye ana tabu yeyote the law will always be followed and the election was won while ndio walikuwa nataka kuharibu if their own guilt conscience is making them run away they should not try and blame the government of Mheshimiwa William Samoy Ruto nimeambia wale majamaa zetu ya kwamba tulimaliza uchaguzi tarehe 9 mwezi wa 8 mwaka uliopita sinyi mlienda kwa polling station simuliamka mapema mkapiga kura ya MCA mlimaliza? Ya mjumbe simulimaliza? Ya gavana simulimaliza? Ya rais simulimaliza? Kuna yenye ilibaki? Kuna yenye ilibaki? So bado tunaulizana nini? Tunaulizana nini na hao watu wanatuambia sijui saba, sijui nini? Uchaguzi iliisha tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. Na hatuwezi kuendelea kuongea mambo ya viongozi. Saa hizi tuongee mambo ya wananchi. 
viongozi walimaliziwa na wananchi wakati wananchi walipiga kura. Nyinyi kama wananchi mlimaliza kazi yenu. Sasa nyinyi mnadudai ile yenu. Na ndio lazima tuwe na mpango ya mambo ya wananchi. Hawa ambao bado wanatuuliza masafa wanatafuta ati mambo ya viongozi. Nataka niwaambie it is very insensitive. In fact it is backward for anybody to continue arguing about what is in it for leaders, about discussing what is in it for leaders. We, it is time we discuss what is in it for the people of Kenya. Those who woke up early to vote for us. Tunaelewana jameni? Mambo ya viongozi iliisha, my friends. Mambo ya viongozi tulimaliza tarehe 9 na, na mwezi wa nane last year na hawa wananchi walitumalizia. Ile deni iko saa hii sio mambo ya viongozi tena ni mambo ya ajira ya hawa vijana. Mambo ya wakulima wapate msaada tuondoe shida ya njaa. Tupange vile hawa vijana watapata ajira. Tupange vile tutaweka matibabu watu wapate matibabu karibu na kwao. That is the assignment that remains that is outstanding. Tumekubaliana jameni? Mwisho kabisa. Mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba tuko pamoja. Maneno ya kulete fujo, maneno ya kuharibu mali, maneno ya kuharibu biashara ya watu, maneno ya kupiganisha vijana na polisi, hiyo maneno nimesema itakoma kwa sababu it is undemocratic, it is unconstitutional, it is against the law, it is unpatriotic. It is not right for any leader, present, past or future, to organize citizens to fight with our security agencies, to cause mayhem, to cause violence, to destroy property, to destroy public property, private property, and to cause chaos in Kenya and sabotage the economy. It is undemocratic, it is unconstitutional, it is unpatriotic, it's against the rule of law, and it will not happen in Kenya because we are a democratic nation and we are believers in the rule of law. Sijui kama tumekubaliana jameni. Sisi zinuwato tunaishi musheria.